Rosalind, congratulations. I love this movie so much. I found myself crying. I am Catholic and I found myself crying so many times throughout the film. Um, so how did you hear about Father Stu and what drew you to this project? Well, I, uh, I heard about him through Mark who had heard about him probably 10 years earlier. Um, and he'd been searching for the right person or people to, to bring the story to life. And I was hugely honored that he thought I might be the one to do that. Um, and, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's, uh, it, there was such a, an inspiring message of hope and, and resiliency um, that I felt was something you know, people, people need right now. Um, but also, you know, the fact that you've seen the movie, you know, he, he exhibited such strength and grace and humility in his suffering. And that's something that was so inspiring to me and that I hope can be inspiring to other people um, who, are, who are suffering. I mean, who, who isn't asking why me? Why is this happening to me? You know, but he had such a such a beautiful outlook on that. And I think that's an important takeaway for everybody. Congratulations. I'm sure this is gonna do really, really well. It was it was beautiful. We need more movies like this, honestly. Thank you. I, I really Thank appreciate you. that. So Rosalind, my question to you is what is your personal takeaway from this? What did you learn throughout this process? Um, about Stu, about his life, what did it change you in any way? Because even just as a viewer, I it was so compelling and it was so moving, and it made me think about my own life, right? Yeah. So um, again, and I appreciate that. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, you did, you did for sure. You nailed it. Um, so, what is your personal takeaway? I guess that's what my question is. Yeah, good question. Um, I think. It's such a lesson, the, the, the enormous responsibility of telling somebody's life, um, you know, on screen uh, is, is really daunting. Um, but in, in researching Stu and in, you know, in, in finding what about him through the writing process, kind of getting to know him as I, as I wrote him, um, I realized that the thing I most admired about him was his humility um, and his ability to surrender. And I think that's something, you know, especially nowadays for men, you know, I have a, I have a five-year-old son, so I'm thinking about these things that, that we sort of live in a culture where the idea of surrender as a man feels like it's sort of shamed you know, and, and, and religion really requires that. And um, Stu was such a, such a beautiful sort of profound example of the extremes of those two things. And there's, I think, no way that, that you could have told that story without having been touched and moved and inspired right. by that level of, of humility and, and grace um, that he had. So that was... I hope that answered your question. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you.